Where else have the cast of The One been seen? Why does Hannah Ware think that Rebecca might be redeemed? Which scenes were the most challenging to shoot? And what might happen in the second season of this psychological thriller? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's jump right in. Hannah Ware as Rebecca Webb Amazingly, but just like the viewers, the actress admits to having complicated feelings for the villainous matchmaker. Personally, I don't think an actor can play a character without humanizing them in some aspect and having some understanding and compassion for the character," she explained. Ware even believes that Rebecca can eventually get redemption in the second season of the show, and we'll definitely talk about what might happen if the series is renewed later in the video. But now we'll tell you all about Hannah and her co-stars. Before The One, Hannah's biggest role was in Kelsey Grammer's drama series Boss, in which she played the estranged daughter of a Chicago mayor. She also played the lead in the drama Betrayal and appeared in the action film Hitman, Agent 47. Ware has been in the entertainment industry since she was a teenager, having started her career as a model at the age of 12. Her younger sister, Jessie Ware, is the British singer and songwriter. Hannah doesn't talk about her romances in interviews or show off her relationships on social media. But we know that in 2008, she tied the knot with skateboarding star Jessie Jenkins. Incredibly, their marriage only lasted for 11 days and was soon annulled. Since then, Hannah has kept her personal life well away from the spotlight. However, in 2016, she allegedly started dating Miles Kane. Her character Rebecca is surrounded by many men whose lives she destroyed one way or another. So let's have a look at the actors who portray them. Dimitri Leonidas as James Just like Hannah, Dimitri launched his career at a young age. He discovered a passion for acting at the age of 10, after accompanying his older sister to a local drama group. When Leonidas was 13, his mother died of cancer, and performing became a catharsis. Since then, he has appeared in many British TV shows and films. But Dimitri is perhaps best known for his role in the movie The Monuments Men, where he starred alongside George Clooney and Matt Damon. And before being cast in The One, he had a main role in the series Riviera alongside Julia Stiles. By the way, two of Dimitri's three sisters are also actors. One of them, Georgina, appeared in several of the Harry Potter films as Katie Bell. Wolf Scolding as Ethan We bet you were scratching your head over why Rebecca's fake true love, Ethan, looks so familiar. He's been in numerous British series, including Doctors, Mrs. Wilson, and The Archers. The majority of his roles have been minor, but he did play a key part in one particular fantasy drama. It turns out Wolf appeared in Game of Thrones as the father of Jon Snow, Rhaegar Targaryen. He also performs on stage and is a talented voice actor. But these are not Wolf's only talents. Surprisingly, Scolding is a professional chef and works as the head chef of the Dove Pub in London. Amir El Masri as Ben like many of his co-stars, the Egyptian-British actor seems to be relatively unknown at first sight. But it turns out that he's been a part of many international hits in recent years. Amir has appeared in British shows like The Night Manager and McMafia, as well as in the American action series Jack Ryan. Also, you might spot Al Masri in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in a small role as Commander Track. Albino Geronimo as Matthias Rebecca's real match is portrayed by the award-winning Portuguese actor with a prolific career and a long list of credits in theater of television. And if you like historical movies, you might have seen him in The Domain and Lines of Wellington. Also, Albino appeared in the fifth season of Vikings, where he played a Byzantine admiral. Jana Perez as Sofia Another foreign actor in The One is the Spanish actress Jana Perez, but that doesn't mean that you've never seen her before. In 2018, she appeared in the comedy film Holmes and Watson and in the series Cocaine Coast. Thankfully, Jana and her co-star Zoe Tapper's first meeting wasn't as daunting as their character's date. Jana's very vivacious, bubbly woman, so I had already had the experience of Jana's charisma, revealed Tapper. She's a very easy person to act with. So apparently, there was no problem building their on-screen chemistry. Zoe Tapper as Kate Zoe's not a stranger to psychological thrillers. She's previously starred in British dramas Liar and Safe House, as well as the pandemic sci-fi drama Survivors and horror sci-fi series Night Flyers. Surprisingly, the experienced actress found some scenes in the one rather challenging. Zoe revealed that she was acting by herself and Kate and Sophia's earliest scenes when they had a date via Zoom. We all know that Zoom conversations are not quite the same as being physically in the same room with someone. 
Incredibly, Tapper had to perform as if she was flirting with someone who wasn't actually there. Sometimes I was just doing my performance to a blank screen. I wasn't actually doing a performance to her face or her speaking. But Zoe's real-life relationships are nothing like her characters. She's married to a fellow actor, Oliver Dimsdale, whom you might know from the shows Downton Abbey and Mr. Selfridge. The couple have been together for over a decade and have two children. And now we'll move on to the actors who played the most intriguing love triangle on the one. Lois Chimimba as Hannah. Born in Glasgow to a Scottish mother and a Malawian father, Lois has been focusing on acting since an early age. That's why she might be a familiar face to the viewers. She's appeared in a number of TV shows, like A Discovery of Witches, Trust Me, and Doctor Who. And last year, Lois even received a BAFTA Scotland Award nomination for Best Actress. Her co-star, Eric Kofi Abrefa, who portrayed Mark, has also been in dozens of projects. Before starring in The One, he appeared in Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and Fury, and series like the BBC Two drama Harlots and sci-fi show Humans. Eric also spent some time performing on stage, appearing in plays, Julie, and A Taste of Honey for the National Theatre. The third party of the triangle, Megan, was played by the Australian Indian actress Pallavi Sharda. You may recognize her for her role in Lion alongside Dev Patel. And quite recently, she also had a notable part in the new Tom and Jerry movie. By the way, what do you think? Will Megan find satisfaction in her revenge on Hannah and Mark? Let's find out if there's any information about it in the novel of The One. How does the show differ from the source material? The Thriller series was inspired by the novel of the same name, which won the Wall Street Journal's best science fiction book three years ago. Its author, John Mars, initially self-published the book because it was turned down by 80 agents. Amazingly, during the very first week after the novel was published, it was picked up by a major publishing house. Moreover, the same week, Mars was approached by a production company who asked if they could turn it into a TV project. The writer revealed that he visited the set of the Netflix series to see how his words were coming to life. It was very surreal, he shared. I was sitting behind the cameras and thinking, they're all here because of an idea I once had on an escalator coming home from work. The showrunners actually got the Mars blessing to take all the liberties they wanted. So although the book and the series are similar in their premises, which is the story of a group of people who use a dating app that matches candidates to their ideal mate using genetics, but these characters and their storylines are much different. Which means the show might follow at least some of the novel storylines in the second season. So will there be a second season of The One? Netflix hasn't given it the green line yet, but that's not exactly a great surprise. After all, the streamer executives waited for a month before ordering the next season of the huge hit series Bridgerton. But there's still a good chance the one will be renewed as it keeps on trending. There were a lot of cliffhangers packed into the final moments of its first season, as well as many questions about the fate of its characters. What will happen now when Rebecca and James are working together again? How will James's relationship with his newfound DNA match develop? And will Hannah and Mark's marriage survive when another perfect match comes into their life? Also, it looks like Kate's storyline could become quite dramatic if she decides to travel with Sophia to her brother's wedding. Plus, there's one pivotal storyline in John Mars's novel that was left out of the series, that of a serial killer whose match is a police officer. Moreover, Zoe Tapper recently hinted that there is more to the story at large. Speaking to The Express, she said, Obviously, you've started to see the cracks forming in the characters, but you also see the cracks forming in the actual business model. So what will happen if everybody finds out that the very idea of one true love is not exactly true? Unfortunately, the wait for the one season two might be long, even if the show is renewed soon. The first season was filmed before the pandemic, but the rules and precautions of our new reality will definitely slow down the production of the sequel. This means that the earliest we might see the second season is probably at some point in 2022. And while you're waiting for it, check out our other videos about your favorite Netflix shows. And thanks for staying awesome!